saw was a wreck last night, right? Again, let me emphasize, it was not that I was so mad at my friend about the car situation. It just kind of like took me over. That was just like the cherry on the cake from everything else that it feels like that I do, you know? Um, as a single mom and as a single woman. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm just over it. You know, I'd rather be a single woman than a single mom. Because a single mom, you carry everything. And a lot of fathers feel if they pay, um, whether it's a little bit or a lot, they feel that that money covers like the ripping and running, the activities, um, the emotional support, spiritual support, physical support, like everything. Um, and I'm here to say that it doesn't. You know, you have to be involved in your child's life. Um, you have to know who their teachers are. You have to know what they're into. You have to know who they're friends with, who they're friends with. You have to know um, what's their likes, their dislikes. I mean, well, no, let me take that back. You don't have to know. A good parent, you want to know. You should know, even if you don't know everything. But you should know. You should be involved. And it's just not the case. I mean... I don't think that I'm that special that I'm like, oh gosh, like I just feel like I'm the only one. No, because there's a lot of fathers who aren't participants in their kids' life, and it's a travesty, especially I can't even say, especially with boys, because with boys, you know, they get anger issues, cut up, um, be a little reckless, rambunctious with girls. They get sassy fast, like boys too early. Gotta make sure you keep them off the pole, out the strip club, you know. Cause boys and girls deal with pain and rejection in different ways. And that's literally what it is. When they act out, it's the actions of being rejected. You know, um, your parents aren't there for you. They're not being in your life. And now I'm talking about because I like to clarify this sometimes. Because me and my kids, my twins are estranged. But we're estranged. We've been off and on for years. But we're in the state that we are. is because they are totally disrespectful. I mean totally. You know, you're not going to call me out my name. And want me to be there for you. And financially. and think, No, life don't work like that. The world don't work like that. How about... Spiritually and scripturally, it's not supposed to work like that. So, um, just wanted to clear that up before um, I got emails. Because although um, I don't have comments under my videos, trust me, I get enough emails from people with comments, questions, and you know, things like that. You know, there, there is a difference. But, um, you have to, oof. Anyway, back to my night, you know, that's more so what it was. I literally, I'd rather be a single woman than a single parent. Cause a lot of women kind of like mesh both of them together and they're not the same thing. Because if the parent is extensively and consistently in his child's life, you're not a single parent, you're just a single woman. You could have made that light, woman. Um, yeah, you're not a single woman. I mean, you're not a single parent, you're just a single woman. Um, so, trust me. Come get, come get my son. Come spend time with him. I'm, uh, it's just so unfortunate. It really, really is like, whoo, so many. It's almost like there's bastard kids. They're, they're made to be bastard kids when they shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah, amen. That's it. And it's sad, you know. Kids don't ask.
has to be here. You know, I'm 41, but if, what, what's going on up here? Like, uh, like, hello? Oh, sorry. I didn't know there was a car in front. Jeez. Anyway. amazing upbringing and but I think that I have I mean I had a little bit above the basics and the only person who would disagree is semi is my oldest brother and my oldest sister yeah so the first two oldest yeah Demetrius and Maureen They'll kind of beg to differ. Um, Lamont maybe too, but seriously. But I mean, statistics show like um, kids who have their different opinions is predicated like what chain they were, what number of, uh, how do you say it? Um, Got the phrase, but it's, it's more so. It depends when you were born. Were you next to the baby, the middle child. You know how they have all those things. Like if you're old, this is this, and this, that. I don't know. But I mean, my dad was tough but fear. That's where I get my my saying from when I say it. Tough but fear, blunt but fear. I love my dad. You know, um, him and my mom, Southern. You know tough but fair, you know. Um, my dad was like, this is why you shouldn't, you better not. My mom's like, well, I don't want you to, but, you know, so I got, I feel a very well balanced life. I do. Um, the times that I got in trouble, the times that I got whoopings, it was clearly because I was trying to test my dad and being sneaky via my mom. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, that's what my breakdown was about last night. Um, wasn't about my friend who um, didn't do the whole car thing, but it was just like the cherry on top. Like, I'm like, isn't this a man thing? Like, it's 7.30 at night. Like, Oh, I gotta come out and deal with this and I'm just I'm just tired of doing everything. I am. I am. And you know, that's what single moms sometimes that's how you know when I how I got married when I got married the first time and you know Jir's dad was a nice person but I knew I wasn't supposed to be with him. I saw that even before we were supposed to get married, you know, some things had transpired. But even before some of the things that had transpired, that it was like in my face, like, no, he's not the one. I still saw some things. So as women, you know, we choose to not look at the signs, but we'll not look at them, ignore them. But I ignored some of the signs too, because again, it's the spirit that get on single women. It's like, I'll fix him up, you know, but he's good with the kids, like, and I just need a break, like, whoo, Jesus, yes, and I got exactly what I prayed for, I was specific about everything besides, you know, him, he was an excellent dad to, um, the twins, excellent, he was a good dad, but just not a good husband, you know, that's the part I forgot to pray about, because you assume that they're going to be good to you, because, you know, they're a minister and things like that but anyway that's neither here nor there this isn't a bashing session like i said your dad's a nice guy just you know we just weren't meant to be together period and then a baby just came out of the marriage but um it was just like 
I'm tired of doing everything. Like, Lord, when I work, you know, can I work by choice? And if I do work, can the money be mine? And he take care of the bills and do this and da da I mean, and all of that was done. Seriously, as single moms, we're just so ex exhausted. I thought to say excited. No. Um, boy, yeah, that too. That, you know, it's like, oh, come help me. Oh, Jesus. Like, I'm tired. You know. And I had good kids. But it was just like, you do everything. Um, I wasn't the type of mom like, oh, go in there and play with yourself or go in there and just play video games all day. Very active. Like now, I'm very active. You see via the videos. You know, very active in my son's life. And when I talked about um, a nanny like two years ago, and I was like, it's not so much I even need a nanny. It's like just the constant driving that I do. You know, you'll have something on the east side, then something on the west side. This, it's just the constant up and down, up and down. And it's just like, oh my gosh. And that's just activity stuff, then school stuff, then church stuff, and then just like mommy and son stuff. It's, it's a lot. See, I'm getting angry <laughs> talking about it. So yeah, so yeah, I'd rather be a single woman than a single parent, yeah. Because a single parent, honey, is way more work. Sheesh! Okay. I'll be back. I have to, like, get myself together. Well, I'm glad it, it, at least it's chilly out. You know, I'd rather be cold than hot. I'm a February baby. And it's been excessively too hot. But, um, yeah. That's it, I guess. Alrighty, um, thanks for the funny emails last night. Hilarious. Uh, I needed it though, because I was a wreck when I came back from being in the house. And my mom actually called me. I was like, oh, mom, did you feel me? And she was like, well, I thought about you because the Ravens and the Steelers are playing. I know the Ravens is your team. I was like, oh, mommy, I had like a little 10 minute serious breakdown. I mean, crying like, I want my mommy. Oh my gosh. And she's like, oh, oh, Jesus, honey, listen, oh, be good to those who are good to you, honey, cherish them, be good to those who aren't good to you, no, respectful, not good, but cherish the ones who are good to you, especially your parents, honey, all right, talk to you later, bye-bye.